Now, if you're real gangster, you could snatch it, but you might not have no edges afterwards. So just think that through. Hey guys, Simone here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do a really, really, really highly requested video that you guys have been asking me for for such a long time. And honestly, I've never gotten around to doing it because I just don't wear glue, right? So I finally decided to use glue once again for this wig. And that's actually what I used to install it. And so when I did that, I was like, okay, perfect, perfect. Now I can show it them how to clean the glue off of your wig uh, right here already started to lift which is perfect because it'll make the process a little bit easier when it comes to actually taking it off my head so still kind of held down like right here but obviously these areas are gonna always be your problem areas I'm not gonna use alcohol to take it off I used to always use that but I feel like it's so drying on my hairline and I feel like glue is already you know harsh enough and I don't want to risk you know losing any more of my edges so I'm not gonna do that instead I'm gonna actually try to use oil and I'm gonna just use any kind of oil so don't feel don't feel like you have to use this one you could literally use any oil that you have at home now if you real gangster you could snatch it but you might not have no edges afterwards so just think that through so get your napkin and you I'm just gonna I'm not gonna even pour a lot because this is some thick ass oil I'm just going to add that together I'm just gonna use this as I'm holding it and putting the oil there it's letting me actually lift it up a little bit more and more and more without feeling like I'm pulling my hair so you can see I'm really yellow on this camera then you know let's go in the bathroom you can see the glue is still on my hairline it's not like it's gone and this is not gonna make it go away but it is going to um, help to lift the wig okay that's what we want to focus on applying a little bit of pressure but don't pull and I actually like to put, I put a, a medium amount of oil. I don't put too little bit because you're not going to get anywhere. But I'm telling you, alcohol in my skin, ew, it just gets so like, oh my gosh. Do you know how good it feels to pull off a wig? That's so embarrassing. Okay, we have the wig off our head and the residue is actually on the wig. So that's perfect, because now I can show you guys how I scratch it off. We have that, yuck. So disgusting, looks disgusting. Thick layer of blue, and now we just added oil to it, so. What I wanna show you guys right now is how to wipe this off, okay? Um, sometimes, back in the day when I didn't care about my hairline, I just roly, roly poly this off my hair. Don't, don't do that, okay? The more oil, the better. I'm sorry. I am not using alcohol so for people in the comments that will say you need to use alcohol I'm not using it um I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna kill my edges with oil I mean oil can't hurt right rub it off the more you the more you put the more easier you can see it's coming off easily no hair none of my hair is in Shit, I might go back to wearing glue again. Whoa, that was actually easy. Don't use alcohol, it's drying, okay? That's part of the reason why I'm, I get pimpled around my hairline. When I used to use glue, it's probably so dry that it's like, stop putting me there. And I'm like, shut up, I need to get it on. So what I wanna do now is I want to wash the glue off the wig. So you're gonna put your wig in the sink, clearly. What really helps for me is to use a toothbrush. I find that if I wet the wig, soap is gonna be um, your friend right now in this process. And I'm just gonna actually use regular soap, dishwashing liquid. I feel like it's a little bit more harsher than shampoo. So I'm gonna use that around the hairline and really massage it in. And then when you get your toothbrush, and you're just gonna brush, that's it. Brush that way. Okay, and again, it's gonna be on your toothbrush, and you're just gonna wipe that off 
take all those little bits out and then you're going to continue now for me the more soap the better because i feel like the soap helped it to glide off so i'm just gonna put a little more right there massage it in and then look at that one swipe okay again as much as we want to scrub the glue out still be gentle because you don't want to create like any holes or anything when it comes to actually washing the wig make sure the whole hair is wet like you would your real hair when you're washing your wig always keep a brush wigs can get matted as you can see this is already tangled and all i did was put water on it okay so then as i'm washing it out again i'm holding the front part of the wig and making sure all the soap comes out always keeping one hand there every now and then casually brush make sure you have no tangles and then to make my life, I like to just make sure the hair is all going in the same direction. Just making sure I do one last brush going back. Get a towel. I like to place my wigs in the towel. Roll it up all the way. Squeeze. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. No, but really, squeeze it out. <laughs> What I will do next is I usually just let it air dry overnight and then I will go ahead and style it and blow dry it to make it any much more straighter. So if you look at your wig, first of all, it's nice and clean, no glue. Now you can go ahead and put it away um, to dry before you style. So a towel, I will usually put it on the floor because I don't want any drippage on the floor. I'm gonna hold the front and then just brush the hair going back so that it can dry going back. 